Frost PDP, and today we are playing Crusader Kings 2. When the world stopped making sense mod. We are playing with some hijinks as Justinian. That's right, the historical emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire during this time period. The man who would have faced a rather different world than he had. Well, allow me to be clear. In our history, some very different people were in charge up until Justinian came to power, and, uh, yeah, the Western Roman Empire survived the invasions of the, what was his name? History seems to forget losers such as him. Oroeser? Oroeser? I'm not sure how you would say that. And here we are, there is an emperor in the West. There is no major Catholic revolution, at least in terms of who has power over what amount of politics. Burgundy exists as an independent country. There are some Frankish kingdoms formed up. It's clear the Western Roman Empire has lost a great deal of its strength, and once extended all the way up to Oxford. To Hadrian's Wall. And it never quite reached the Rhine, did it? What a shame. But, ah, uh, yes. The Eastern Roman Empire, united and strong. From Alexandria to Syria to Constantinople. All the way up through Greece. Macedonia and more oh it's true the Empire has more expanding to do it has more lands to reclaim across the Black Sea but is that indeed the Black Sea I forget it is haha -ha. to put it bluntly there is no war to reclaim the western capital for this Justinian IV, although he would much rather it be subordinate to him, it is still Roman, and they are still at least on a technical level still allied, still one emper empire under two Caesars. Diocletianic reforms, if I'm not mistaken, at least in some shape. After all, this is a slightly fictional history. Will Justinian meet Theodora? He is already married, so perhaps not. That certainly colors his thinking. And everyone seems to want his rival, who happens to be his mother. in a, a strange sense because you know he was my father's wife oh and we killed his yes that's right this Justinian happened to have a brother what a shame <sighs> little brother had to go that might explain why our little Justinian has a kinslayer trait I'm surprised he doesn't have like cruel <laughs> sort of makes sense, right? But people still want to marry her. She is my rival. Do I want to just get her out of my sight? Well, she is my rival. That's the problem. I feel like this character would try to kill her. But he'd fit to be unable to do so. I believe. Not without spending the same fortune he had to spend to kill his... What? His... Fake brother? Hmm. You know what? On a serious note, I think Paradox should include... Um... Some sort of role... That... Every noble character has to have about having a position for a matron, like a council position, to take care of their children. 
because the queen can't always be doing that unless that's sort of another advantage that the queen has but I don't know I feel like it I sort of feel as if marital feuds would be the most interesting thing in the world to add to CK2 now that you've added councils you would have your Cersei Lannisters like boom there you go and I feel like that's a pretty cool assessment so the Emperor himself wants to marry my rival who was my sort of mother because you know stepmother I guess and my friend at this what the hell is that thing no seriously perfect is whatever is my room I don't know okay so he's that thing <laughs> and um I guess he hates the both of us because we killed her um <laughs> excuse me our biological son right well our father's dead so what could she expect what a plot twist it would be to allow that wedding to see what happens to see if it ever gives me like another thing and I don't think the game does this actively but if she's my rival and she arranges a plot to kill me and she's married to the king or in any way like in his service that should be like a cause to declare war like hey you killed our emperor we are going to use that as an excuse to seize your lands um, that would be a really good thing so decline or accept decline or accept um, but if she's close she's more of a threat I'll accept, just in case. Now it should be noted we have some faction problems here. They, the numbers might be like, oh no, a faction war that would be serious and would take time. That's annoying. Well, that doesn't take into account the amount of mercenaries we can raise and maintain. That they can. So that's a thing. A daughter was born into the purple. Perfect. She shall be... She shall focus on... See, this should be like a school thing over here. Like, I feel like learning is becoming way too much just like the thing that faithful people have and not the trait that, you know, you think about things. Maybe that means you're faithful which would be kind of up here. Maybe that means you're philosophical over here, but this is just like talking about getting culturally merged in. Like, what? That's not a thing. Because I know she's going to come up like that. The only reason this would be even relevant would be if it blocked the possibility of a foreign tutor, you know, let's say instead of Roman I went with a gothic tutor like keeping the culture the same but really like I never feel as if culture is a huge problem and I don't feel like even if it was it's not played out enough so I don't know I feel like those are things that would be really interesting to explore too and I know this is getting into like the minutia of a sim game as we like you would be the king of a country. And it's just thought. I mean, I guess. So, learning arts, humility, timid and affectionate. Learning, diplomacy. Diplomacy, intrigue. I guess this. She's not going to get taught up by anyone else. 
uh, Pulcheria. <laughs> wow, what a name. Pelly. Pelly Frost. How about that? There you go. Pelly Frost. Okay, you're adorable. Isaiah of Hellenic Uprising has declared Roman Hellenic Revolt on me. Okay. Where are you? You're on a fucking island, aren't you? Okay. Does have a fairly sizable force. That's an interesting sign. If I raise up the person who's got the title, uh, could you show me the land, please? I must be losing my mind. Okay. So basically the question is how much of my own military do I have to commit to deal with this issue because in the end in part it's a distraction. These are the boats. Hotkey for stop that I'm just not remembering at the moment. Uh, can I fit on those boats? No, I cannot. Can half fit on the boats? No, they cannot. In case anyone's wondering, the reason why I'm trying to avoid using my personal levy to do this is because I do not want to give those factions a temporarily, uh, a temporarily existing boost to their... No, no, no. I still can only get, like... Not even half on the boat, huh? Let's 
so you're telling me we can only get 2,000 dudes there? Okay. What do you got? Oh, you raised yours already. Apologize, I have had a slight cough. I thought I was over it. This is the point of the game where it's lots of button clicking because I do not exactly know how to hotkey all of these things together. I hate this little, like, sea thing. It's really frustrating. So I'm park my boats here and drop them off here and then just go tack over the straight because there's nothing much I can do. Are you kidding me? You can't fit on. I'm 14 boats. 42 boats. Oh man. Like, y'all can't just tell 42 guys to stay behind. You guys look like you're a little sick. Stay back and we'll handle this. Like, really? That's wild. I'll call my little guy in, but whatever. I was really hoping to avoid having to call most of my men into combat, like, while they're not ready. Strong tendencies towards prideful behavior. My daughter, yes, she should be ambitious. What are you guys doing? Okay, they're never gonna make it there. Really? Okay. I guess that's uh, something to remember, is how specific a province can be valuable in terms of geography. I mean, if you can't, if this, let's say, for whatever reason, this is like a big cliff face area, and this is parkable. And you can only safely harbor on this side of the peninsula, like, alright, fine, whatever. But, I'm going around to here, and he's got to go all the way through there. Now, I know this isn't EU4, I know you can't get your boats attacked, but it's a time difference, which is just weird, I guess. I don't know.
then again, boats are almost instantaneous transportation anyway. And the best part is you just stand them down when you're done. Three. Group my men. Not close to being done, finish, you know, getting my people down here, but whatever. In fact, like, it doesn't even matter if these guys are on boats. They might as well not be. Because I'm never going to stop them from sieging the thing down at this rate. down. I remember for some reason that when you had them all selected like that, it used to just stand them down. All of them. You'd have to go clicking four or five times. And it looks like I should have parked here because that's closer. Whoops. That's another one. Like It's a little unclear where the straight is. It feels like it could be either side. Just saying. Paradox. I'm not in an army, am I? No? Good. Go forth, my men. Swim across that ocean with no boats. For we don't have enough to actually send you. Excellent. What? I'm literally sitting here at my keyboard. If I had like some sort of camera or something because I had a million subscribers like right now, you would see me closing my eyes, shaking my head and tapping my fingers like you got to be kidding me. I'm getting robbed. What is this? DLC? No, I'm kidding. Uh, so, when I catch the thieving little rat, I guess I lose 62 gold. Oh no, that's about a month's worth of savings. I feel like a corporation in modern day America. Okay, good. Stand all of you down unless you're retinue. Again. Like, this used to always stand them all down. And not just one at random, almost. That's how you end up getting yourself confused about what is retinue and what isn't. And then deleting your own retinue and feeling like a jackass for it. See, right now, there's some retinue, like, dudes there, but there's some non. So it's telling me, no retinues. Okay, just the levies. Now, if I click it again, the army and well, the, well, now it'll tell you that. Like, there should be a bigger warning there, because retinue costs a lot to just build. And if you're not really looking at the color and you're looking ahead, uh, yeah. So where were we? right getting up here to conquer this little punk so dangerous factions are a thing but as my levies replenish and continue to grow like at stupendous speeds it'll be all right oh this is fun so my vicar propolis has noticed Coins are missing, but has concluded my preliminaries. Who? My spy master. Can I rename that spy master? No. Okay, that's great. I don't mind the term vicar. That's like a title, but I don't know. This is a specific title. Like vicar sounds like all right. You have a rank. This guy says, like, no, you don't. And who's Proculus? Like, what? Somebody's spreading rumors about my spy master. And 
and it doesn't show who the guy who's doing it is to see like maybe if they're rivals or something. my spy master. I'm not sure he would be loyal. Dang it, I feel like it would be cool to be able to be threatening my spy master into compliance. Like, I will kill you if you ever try to pull something because I'm that much better than you at this. Yeah. That sounds like what Justinian would do. See all those training grounds being built? My personal levies just keep on rising. <laughs> all right, it costs like nothing. That next level of military org is going to be devastating. Of course, it's a long way away, but sure. Now, here's what's fun. So I was looking at this the last time I played. This CB can be used by me to press this Countess's claim on Duchy. The Countess in question is the nine-year-old younger sister by five years. So basically it's an argument to just the younger ones, I guess, the one in charge by right? Like, what? That claim literally makes no sense from any political standpoint. It's just ridiculous. I will admit, that is a pretty built city for freaking 497. I want to march with this army. That sounds like a bad idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking all of you guys who are in the legions, y'all should be doing that. Just a thought. No, I'm sorry if I just took on a southern accent. I would have you, little guy, guy I want to go to war to conquer. Hmm. See, this is where sometimes truce war rules get a little confusing. Because I would like to know it should list somewhere like where it says after you win the war or whatever what kind of truce you get because if I get a truce that's going to block from declaring on Pannonia Pannonia is a lot bigger but then again this is just like a little Little rebellious git who's got some legal identification that lets her be separate, but if and when she dies, and she probably will, 
it all goes back to us. Like, I don't know. What would Justinian do? Well, Justinian was a dreamer, so he dreamed of a united empire. He'd feel honor bound to bring this in line one way or another. And since the child won't vassalize, even though, like, seems pretty much like she should. I'm the de jure emperor. You know, her, her heir is with us. Come on. But whatever. I could declare Imperial Reconquest. Which cost me a bajillion gold. Push somebody else's claim. Well, when we when we declared war on this, it was specifically to bring somebody under our dominion. Okay, sounds like the kind of short-term scheming that would work. Well, not even short-term. Long-term, yeah. Declare uh, claim war. Go. So I know that I'm going to have some little bastards coming in from my northeast, or rather west. Um, don't sweat that too much. This isn't exactly a major operation here. Oh, those are in larger numbers than I expected. Tenth. Oh, so he's gonna go there after I'm gone. He's lucky there's no movement lock. Desert. Um, let's see. Even flanks. Yeah. a victory. I'm not sure how it was a victory because I didn't take anything. The battle was a victory. That makes more sense. Lost 600. Killed that many. Theodric and some guy. Now I see your capital. Yeah. 
you still shattered or retreating? God damn. Where did he go? Like, out of the country? Oh, cool. So my half sister and I are getting along. That's good. More so. Um, a little civil war in there. A little argument over who has the title. Yeah. And I'm just kind of letting a civil war happen in you know my chain of command here. But that's not a big deal in feudalism, I guess. Non aggression pact. Sure, why not? You think you're someday going to fight me? Okay. Um, see ya. Who the hell are you? That's cute, you brought reinforcements. A lot of them. Hmm. Well, that's not so good. So I will catch you next time. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> and... Whew. Um, what's up indeed? I just got uh, some unpleasant side effects here. Strategies going to hell. So, thank you for joining me. And as always, La Paz. <laughs>